Hi, this is All Things Property with me, Zamadonga Kumalo. Now, as a property owner, one of the essential things to have is a toolbox. You don't always want to call a handyman to fix small things that might go wrong. Unfortunately, this is something I don't have. I'm going to ask our resident DIY enthusiast, Owen Honey, for some help in putting together a basic toolbox. You can either get a ready-made tool set that's made up for you depending on your price range and needs or put your own toolbox together with a variety of individual items on offer. Choosing the ideal toolbox to meet your needs from Builders is easy. Builders has a wide range of toolboxes to choose from. Builders has you spoiled for choice. Okay, Zama, so this is a basic toolkit. Let me just take you through some of the parts and pieces that's inside this that you'll be probably using the most frequently. Inside this handy carry case, you'll find 39 pieces of tools. That includes a three meter measuring tape, a claw hammer, a utility knife, four precision screwdrivers, a universal kitchen scissors, a 60 millimeter magnetic bit holder, eight hex key wrenches, one screwdriver handle for a quarter inch hex bits, 150 millimeter slip joint pliers and 20 CRV bits. Okay, Owen, so I see you have the screwdriver, but what are these small ones essentially for? So some of these are precision screwdrivers. You'd use it for fine screws, especially like spectacles. Okay. You know, the top of a spectacle, oh, you need to yeah. tighten up. That's where you'd use this. And also for some electrical equipment as well, which has very small screws, which is difficult to get to with a very big screwdriver head. But the most common one you're going to use is obviously the screwdriver. Yes. Now this is great because it's got a magnetic head to it. So whatever size screwdriver head you need is available in this kit. The most common screwdriver heads you're going to use is your I know, Phillips, a flat and a, flat and a, st and a, and a star. star. Yes. That's correct. Then you also get obviously in this toolkit is your Allen keys. Your Allen keys is very important mm. for putting together our usual flat pack toolkits or yes. you know, flat pack products. Okay, Owen, so I'm going to take advantage of having you over. I've been having issues with this table. It's a bit wobbly. Mm -hmm. And I know I need an Allen key to just strengthen it a little bit. And of course, it's something I didn't have before this. So which one should I be using to tighten this up? Well, you're right. You do need an Allen key to sort out this desk. It is a pre-packed product. And we're going to tighten up these uh, hexagon nuts by using the Allen key. And I can really tell you that this is a four millimeter Allen key that you'll need to tighten it up. And remember, when, in put when putting this Allen key in place, make yeah. sure that it goes into the bolt first. Make sure it's the right size. If you try to put a smaller Allen key in there, all you're going to do is strip it. Okay. And if an Allen key is not in properly, you also stand a chance of uh, stripping the nut. And that's the last thing you want. That's a great job. Just remember, they come in. 1.5 millimeter all the way through to six millimeter. But if you need a bigger one, you can always buy an extra one at Builders. So that's a utility knife. So okay. be very careful in working with your utility knife. I'd always recommend using gloves. You move it out by pressing down the button and it goes out and you'll see it's got these indentations for the separate blades. As soon as it gets blunt, all you do is take your pliers and break it off to get to the next, to the next sharp one. point. Oh. You also have a hammer. A claw hammer is very important because that you'd use to hammer in anything. Yeah. And should you need to remove it, any yes. screws or nails that's stuck in the wall, you would slide it in there and claw that off the wall. <laughs> Tape measure I live by. I have a slightly bigger one, but I think this one is nice and compact, mm -hmm. but it's a staple for anybody who's into property. I mean, even from measuring if your fridge is going to fit um, in your home, you always want to be mm. able to do things like that. So when using a tape measure, you'll see there's a bit of flexibility in the tape itself. That's there for a reason, yeah. obviously, to help you navigate some of those tight areas. But the most important thing is when you're measuring, say from this picture frame to the other end, is to put your tape out initially, put your hand against the wall and keep it in place. You can then move the tape across keeping it flat against the wall. And even though it's fallen there, it doesn't really matter. Mm. And then we're gonna measure all the way across here. And we know that that is one, three, five, five. But I think the last tool that we've got here are... Yep. Uh, let's see. 
is a pliers. Now pliers you always use wherever you go. The nice thing with this is it's slip pliers, so you can adjust it to different sizes. Mm -hmm. And should you need to take, you know, a nut bolt out of the wall or out of a product, you could use this as well. Just be careful that you don't let it slip because you'll damage the bolt head. Otherwise, you could use this anywhere else just to remove anything or tighten something up. Owen, I think this is probably been one of the most insightful uh, crash courses in a toolbox. Mm -hmm. I'll certainly beef up my toolbox uh, skills and I think the moment I've uh, you know, use this one a lot. I'll probably upgrade to a bigger one. Yeah. I mean, I know we saw a few in store and they can get so big. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever get one that's that massive, but certainly for the home usage and being able to do some work in the properties, this one is probably mm. going to come in quite handy. Well, this is a very basic toolkit yeah. and you can always add on to that as the jobs become bigger, should they ever arise. But the most important thing is you got something very basic to use. But if the job is too big or you feel it might be too big for you, there's always help at hand with a handy app. All you have to do is get onto the Builders website or use the Get It Done app where yes. you can call in professional help at the core of a button, so easy. So keep that at hand and bear in mind, Boulders has got you covered every step of the way. Well, get to Boulders, get it done.